Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. We're going to first say and kick it off talking about Epley Limited dividend consideration here. The board of directors of Epley Limited will meet on May 13th, 2022 to consider an interim dividend payment. You would recall we just covered Epley Limited, their annual report, talking about their investment portfolio, the financial highlights, Jamaican $5.4 billion investment portfolio. For the Epley. Such course, Select Funds Limited, updated net asset value, that's the nav here. Select MD continues to power it up, heading north on a net asset value basis, closing just above a dollar twenty uh, cents per share. That's Jamaican dollar twenty per share as at May 2nd, 2022. That's Monday, yesterday of this week. Now select F, if you look at that one, that's uh, select financial, just under 80 cents per share. And select MD, we just cover that, $1.21 per share. Now Palace Amusement Company, 1921 Limited, reopening our cinema here. Talk about, you know, Palace Amusement, we always knew it was gonna happen, you know, post COVID or at the tail end of COVID, reawakening, getting their affairs in order, getting going again. So the company states in an advisory, due to the relaxing of the government restrictions uh, placed on the entertainment industry and public gatherings, that Palace Cineplex, that's up by Sovereign right there, uh, Hope Road, will be reopened effective tomorrow, May 4th, 2022. Now, Caribbean Insurance Brokers, that's ticker symbol CAB, CAB, reports a profitable first quarter. What has happened with CAB a number of uh, years is that, you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, a bit of a loss, and then fourth quarter, boom, huge profitability, cyclical profit, seasonal. But no, with the leadership coming in here, Tanya Waldron Gooden, it's a good look. We're seeing here some profitability in the first quarter. By the numbers, revenue improved 104.9 million, net profit 1.8 million. For the period, three months ended March 31st, 2022. EPS earnings per share translate to Jamaican one cent per share year over year. Revenue growth powering up here for CAB, improving by 20.5% for the quarter. Total equity closed just under Jamaican 400 million, 390 million. Last up tonight, Jamaica Producers Group Limited, that's ticker symbol JP, notice of their annual general meeting. JP really been doing so many deals, mergers and acquisitions, you gotta keep up with them. To keep up with them, head to their AGM. It's gonna be held on June 17th of this year at 10 a.m. at the Terranova Hotel. Hope you enjoyed Business Live tonight. I am Mark Crossgree.